strange creatures, interstellar space battles and that familiar voice. The space whale is not hostile. Yes, this is Stellaris in VR. Well, a game set in the Stellaris universe. The game name is called Ghost Signal, a roguelike game in which you pilot your ship from a third person perspective and lead it into battle. And let me explain to you how this works and most importantly, if it is worth a purchase. Now the game concept is easy. When you hit play, you and your spaceship are teleported to an instance. The moment you spawn, hostile ships will be entering the space and it's your task to destroy them. You can of course move your ship by easily setting up waypoints with your controller and as you move around and the enemy space vessels come closer, you will have to aim with your hand at the enemy space vessels to lock onto them and press the trigger to shoot them down. Now you are carrying three weapons, some kind of cannons, missiles and a laser beam, each having their own strength and weaknesses of course. Now changing the weapons is easy, just look at the top of your hand and use the joystick to select your weapon. Now you can also pick the weapons without having to look at your hands by just using the joysticks, just so you know. Now once the enemies in the systems are destroyed, you can scan the area with the other hand and scan meteors for valuables. Now once scanned, they will light up and you can easily destroy them with a laser beam and after being destroyed, they will drop some kind of currency. Also, the destroyed enemies could drop money. Now when scanning the area and hovering over the things that have dropped, they will be collected automatically, so you don't really have to move to all of these places to, to get the currency, that will take a long time. Now if you are ready, have destroyed everything and collected everything, you can jump to the next system. With your left hand you can open the sector map and jump to that next sector and when jumping at times you can choose different routes. These are all randomized by the way. And the sectors are diverse, in some you will find dangerous creatures, elite enemies or traitors which can give you special upgrades during your run. Because yes, at times you will find friendly units you can communicate with that will offer you upgrades that you can choose from, making every run somewhat different. Upgrades can also be found by defeating enemy units and these upgrades can range from weapon upgrades, extra health, missiles or proxy drones that will be targeted by enemies which can come in quite handy. Now because you know once you are targeted first your shield will be drained that's the blue bar then the hull will take some damage which is the green bar and the yellow bar that you see is a boost that uh, that you can apply which you definitely need to use against some enemies that will just try to ram you. And talking about enemies, they are nice and diverse. Every system and the longer your run is, you will be confronted with different enemies. Some are easy, some have shields, fire missiles, try to ram you like I said or have lasers and at times you enter systems that besides the battle will cause extra havoc like this dragonish beast that spews laser beams all around the galaxy. Now, quite interesting. Uh, you will also encounter some bosses which are, I found pretty difficult and expect to die a few times. Now, here it comes. I am normally not a big fan of these roguelite games as they feel kind of repetitive in my opinion. But in Ghost Signal, during your run, you can also collect research points. Now, these can be spent after you die in the research tab in the menu. Here you can really upgrade quite a lot, which is quite nice, and these are permanent upgrades you can carry in all your next runs. Think of shield upgrades, weapon upgrades, or for example, having the opportunity to set an extra waypoint so you can focus more on damage instead of having, you know, constantly having to move the, the ship around. And this kept me going, and it was honestly kind of addictive. Now I am not going to spoil too much about what you will encounter during these runs, but these are all randomized and even during your run you have choices if you want to encounter an unknown creature or a traitor or an elite enemy and you know you can plot your course in the system, uh, each rewarding you with its own benefits. Now this is a seated experience and I like that. You know gaming for me is coming back from work and relaxing. Not having to stand and constantly having to move is a nice change in VR. You sit down, see everything in third person and you just do your runs. The graphics as you can see are not phenomenal but they are good. The details of when a ship is flying in front of your eyes looks very detailed, very sharp 
and the different systems are all pretty unique and a pleasure for the eyes with all its lighting. Now there is a narrative and story, but you don't buy the game for its narrative campaign. You buy this game because you like roguelike games. And to be honest, if you are new to this genre, this is a fantastic game to pick up and try out. I, I personally had to get used to the controls, but after two runs you get it and the addiction starts. The game is not super long, I mean the story that is. Based on your skill level, I would say it will range between 5 and 8 hours perhaps. But what is cool is that the game offers daily challenges with a uh, uh, global and local leaderboards to climb. So you can compete with your friends and others from around the world. Now the game is very well priced I would say. $19 for both Steam and PSVR 2. And for this reason, I would say that if you like this genre, it's quite a must buy if you have a VR headset laying around. Also, the price makes it attractive for people who want to get into the genre and want to test it out. Not into roguelites? Then I would just skip this game. But all in all, I really have fun with this game. It's a great game and the uh, the gameplay loop is, uh, is, is pretty well thought out. So yeah, props to the developers here. Now, that was it. I hope this gave you a quick insight of what this game has to offer. Um, as always, if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR updates, then subscribe to my channel. And as always, again, again, I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.